greetings from uh, Alongapo. Yeah, Alongapo, it is a thriving, wonderful, exuberant town, or city really, uh, north of Manila, about two hours. It's right on the coast. It's in a place called Subic Bay. And it's actually in a, in a special economic zone for, for trade. So they have special privileges here. Uh, they have uh, special conditions or uh, relaxed conditions, I suppose simplified conditions on trade, uh, customs, and, and just doing business basically. And being right on the water, it's got a massive port. Uh, this is just one of the wharves. Uh, it's got a ferry terminal, uh, hills in the background. And as I say, it is just the most beautiful, beautiful place that you can visit. Yeah, well, apart from the, the wonderful scenery, the waters, uh, the industry and what's going on here there's they're really big on their water parks and just in the vicinity around here of about uh, two kilometers there's like five water parks now come on get off the grass that many in such a small area that is great uh, look I, I did want to come to one of them I did want to go to one of them that's one of the reasons why I'm actually in in this town is um, is uh, inflatable island However, when I got up this morning and checked them out on the internet, they're closed! No! They're closed, I come all this way. I wanted to jump off their towers, swing on their things, get thrown in the water, but they're closed because they're relocating. Damn it! Oh. Anyway, I've decided uh, I'm not gonna go to a water park. Um, I might show you guys, uh, you know, some from the exterior. However, I've got something a bit better, a bit more action, a bit more adventure. Uh, being a being a water area they've got so many water sports I thought we might go and jump on a jet ski yeah I've been on a jet ski um, and in Australia you need licenses to drive them actually you need specific uh, personal craft licenses so not everyone can get those uh, there are boating licenses that are, are a step above or well above the normal so not many people have got boat licenses to ride jet skis however in the Philippines you don't need a license you just jump on and go for a ride so that's what we're going to do i've uh i found a place around here it's just down the road so i'm going to go back get my gear on and we're going to hit the water on a jet ski yeah all right before we do that just want to show this little memorial area here uh, with a gun and check these flags out they are mega flags yep the good old Filipino flag and not too sure what that one is uh, Civic Bay Civic Bay flags all right yeah nice little area set up here overlooking the water and it is extremely pretty even though we've got industry in the background I don't mind that and look at those uh, those things over there they look like horses but they're cranes I know that but they are really weird looking things and that thing here it looks like a like a, a mine or a bomb from uh, like a one of those mines in the water. Uh, it is, um, and look, there is military around here, or military sort of stuff around, uh, being the Philippines, and the US uh, Navy is here, uh, which I can't shoot. I don't know where they are, but anyway, it is uh, back home. It is getting kitted out. We're gonna hit the water, so let's do it. Yeah, and looking, walking around this town, and that's the only way to, to do it on foot, you get to see so much more, is uh, it is just full of restaurants and food eateries. Here's another one here, Japanese restaurant. They got Korean, I and mean, they've got, got everything down here. And they're really huge on their ribs and rumps. Uh, this bar, there's even a casino. But I am just totally blown away by how much food you can get down here. And it's just everywhere, there are cafes everywhere. So, <laughs> It is the best place to want, come and wine and dine yourself and get some great food. Of course, plenty of takeaway. So, uh, yeah, it's all happening here. Do like it. Everything's just so uh, compact. That's what I like. Compact and close. 7-Elevens. And, uh, yeah, I just say there's just stuff everywhere. Food everywhere. And that's what I'm really liking about this place too. Taiwanese. Uh, Chinese even. Uh, just the list goes on. And I'm just walking around on the back streets. We're not even in the, in the city part or in the busy place. Yeah, so we've just come into one of the local cafes. 
on the way back. I just could not resist uh, just checking out the food in here. It's extensive, the menu has got so much and you can get any sort of food here, particularly Western type food. And uh, I've got one of my favorites, uh, the good old Caesar, the, the chicken Caesar salad. And I mean, it's not exactly healthy, but it's better than a burger, better than chips. Uh, and look, cappuccino, uh, the coffee I had this morning uh, wasn't that strong. So yeah, I've got to get those, uh, those levels of caffeine just up a little bit more because when I jump on that jet ski, the adrenaline will be flowing and uh, yeah, it'll be so pretty exciting. All right, I'm gonna tuck into this Caesar salad. It looks absolutely awesome and uh, yeah, and, and big, yeah, really big. Yeah, these guys really know how to do an amazing Caesar salad. Look at these strips of chicken. Oh, it's pretty tender, lovely. And um, parmesan cheese all over, drizzled with the best tasting Caesar salad dressing I've had for a long, long time. A little croutons. Um, it really is uh, truly yummy, yum, yum. Mm. Yeah, guess what? Uh, the Caesar salad's gone and uh, there's cakes and pastries over there. Oh my God, let's have a, a quick look. Ah, oh, carrot cake. Love it. Uh, caramel. Oh, even more, even better. Oh, what's that one? I haven't seen that one before. That looks pretty damn good too. Oh, toffee. Oh, purple yum. What the hell is purple yum? And cheesecake. Blueberry cheesecake as well. Oh, God. And uh, don't forget the gelato. The gelato area. Oh, my God. This is fantastic. I'm in heaven. Love this Western food. Actually, uh, gelato is probably Italian, really, food. Oh, yeah. This place has, has got it all. I'm, I'm gobsmacked. Huge menu, all the little goodies. And I'm coming back. I'm coming back for a pizza tonight. I reckon the pizza here would just be out of this world. Oh, just wish I'd save some room for some of those cakes. All right, that was fantastic food. I'm gonna be back for a, a pizza, I reckon. Uh, that's the place you wanna come for fantastic food, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, so get, come on down and taste their food. It is sensational. All right, thank you, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and staff, staff galore there, they're just ready to help out anytime. You didn't even have to put your finger up, they were, they were ready to help. Uh, cold water, condiments, like straight away, like the service there was just, was, was extremely good, extremely good. All right, I'm going back. Anyhow, we've got other business to do on the water, so let's get back and get changed and hit it. All right, here it is. Here's a place that I found a little while ago. A jet ski, UFO, whatever that is. I mean, parasail ain't done that. Bandwagon, not a, sure about that one, not sure, but dragon boat, hoverboard, flyboard, they're, they're challenging. 242 jet boat, banana boat, bay cruise. No, I think we'll go the top one that we'll do jet ski. All right, let us, uh, let us amp up this video. Let us get some excitement happening, okay? Let's get in there. Get on a machine. I tell you, I am bloody hot and I'll be happy to get into that water. So let's do it. Let's go in and grab the jet ski. Oh, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's your dragon boat up here. Looks a bit like a dragon to me. Uh, and the banana boat. We'll have a look at these. Look at these machines they've got in here. I mean, they're obviously not water machines, but look at these brand spanking new jetties. Oh, yeah. And look, uh, when I inquired, um, they are talking about an 1100cc engine. Oh, that's got a bit of grunt. Yeah. Oh, okay, but uh, yeah, these are looking absolutely nice. For sale, even. Hmm. All right, just wait patiently for my turn. And uh, I've got plenty of time. And then we'll get it, get it on. Video? Can I video? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm vlogging, correct, yeah. Always ask, you've got to be polite. Some people just don't like the camera. But uh, I'm a vlogger, vlogger, okay. Uh, I'm going to vlog the uh, the ride on the jet ski today. Yeah. All right, so um, these are the choices we've got. We've got the jet ski here. Uh, we won't do an hour, we'll just do um, 
30 minutes, that should be enough. Uh, 2300 damn good price here. Forget about, here's the UFO, whatever that is, but that looks fun. But for one person, I think the jet ski is just perfect, all right? All right. Thank you. Uh, just to half an hour on uh, on the jet ski. Yes. All right. And uh, oh, what do I need to do? Uh, you need to sign yep. a waiver, sir. Sign a waiver. Uh, the waiver, sir. Okay, and then we have a riders ticket. You will present this outside, and our uh, ski attendant will guide you, sir. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Thank Salamat. you. Salamat. Okay. Thank you. Paul. All right. We'll fill out the form, and then we'll get out there under the water. Okay. So we've got a very simple form here. We just got to initial it and then sign it. Mom, so, uh, the initials, uh, okay, uh, we're not really reading all the conditions because it's pretty much the same. We've uh, paid the money, we've signed our life away. So, uh, look, to me, anything on the water is not that bad. I mean, ATV riding, if you come off an ATV, it's going to hurt really a lot, even if it's not going very fast. But a jet ski, wow, it's just water. Come on, that can't be too hard. Unless you're doing about 80 k's now, and I don't plan to do that. So uh, we'll keep it clean, we'll keep it nice, we'll keep it calm, but we'll amp it up a little bit. Oh, we're just going around the back now, and we've been told to see Raymond. And look at all these beasts here. Oh, this is heaven. All right, let's find Raymond. And get on. Hey, guy, come on, star. Hey. Ah, Raymond. Where's Raymond? Raymond. Raymond. There's Raymond. Hey. I'm, I'm Keith. Yeah. I'm Keith. I'm going to have a ride on your jet ski. Yeah. Uh, this is Raymond. He's going to look after us. I'm going to get out on that jet ski. All right. Let's get it on. All right. Raymond. We're, uh, we're dressing up. Well, I mean, you've got to have these things on. You never know what's going to happen on the water. And look at this assistance we're getting, you know. Don't have a thing, you know. Yeah. These are really new um, life jackets. They're really, they feel really good, actually. Really good. All right, okay. I'm going to tie you guys in as well uh, with this because I just don't want to lose my camera. That'll be the last thing I want to lose. Okay, we are ready. All right. Yeah, I thought I'd buy some uh, really cool sunglasses. Yeah, only like 15 Australian dollars, 500 peso. I don't mind. I don't want to wear my, my good sunglasses out here, but these are really, really groovy ones. They're really slim. I do like them, and uh, they're a lot more tighter on the on the face. So, oh, feel that water. Oh, oh, that is so cool, so good. All right, here is our machine. All right. The Yamaha. All right. I just want to check it out. Number 39. Got the kill switch. Uh, yeah. Start. 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 Stop. Attack. Attack. Stop. And the throttle. The throttle is going here. Let's uh, quickly show you this. It is certainly worth showing. And getting to know. Ah, oh, there's the throttle there. All right. So we can operate it with uh, with one arm, one hand, and hopefully I can get uh, some good camera shots with the other hand. All right. Let us get it. Get on. And let's get out there. All right, we are on. We started the engine up. We're actually going, but not very fast. I thought I'd get you guys going. Uh, we've got our, our guy on the back, so just to see how we go. All right. Uh, actually a lot of, a lot of chopping us. 
spray like crazy. We're going to go around this course here. But this, ah, oh, this is insane. I'm enjoying it. I'm a bit nervous actually. Spray right, going around the corner. It's hard to turn. These things don't turn too well. Okay. Back, back, okay. All right, we're going back. Get rid of our uh, passenger. And then we're going to get out there and crank it. All right, that was a, that was a uh, practice run. Oh, that was actually okay. incredible. Okay. All right. I'll All right. I am by myself now. So it is time to throttle up. It is time to get this video full throttle. Well, maybe not full throttle, but certainly a bit more than this. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is, this is sick. This has got so much power, it's insane. Oh, <laughs> oh it's got too much power. You've got to lean a little bit to get around the corners, but ah, oh, this thing is bullshit! This is full on, this is just full on scary! Oh, the, the throttle's just so sensitive! It's got so much power! I reckon you can do about uh, 80 kilometers, 100 kilometers an hour on this thing. Oh, every time you've got a very sensitive throttle. But it is a lot of fun. Even though I'm just like hanging on for my life. Oh, <laughs> oh man. It's like being on an uncontrollable bull. Oh, Jesus. It's got so much grunt. I'm going to come off this if I'm not careful with all this uh, whitewash. exhausted already. Oh. <laughs> oh man, I'm holding on. There's so much power. I'm leaning to get around these corners. It is insane. <laughs> oh. oh man, oh. I've got to slow down, I've got to stop for a minute. The arms are aching already. It's only been oh. five minutes. Oh. I just got to take it easy. Oh.
let's do it again. Oh, just gotta hold on. I can do half an hour of this. It is extreme. I don't think I've done anything this extreme in my life. There's just so much power in this thing. It's scaring the crap out of me. And when you go, like, you know, even at like half speed and you're flying, one more touch at that bump, one more wave just pulls that throttle on a bit extra and whoa, you just take off even faster. But let's do it again. exhausted and I uh, still had a bit of time to go I didn't get this thing up to full speed uh, it's more than scary I just oh, even hitting the water at half speed it's gonna hurt so I don't want to risk that I don't want to risk the camera either and say the camera goes pow you know I'll do a, like a face plant or a nose plant into my GoPro and uh, get some you know nice red blood flowing out of the nose that'll be really really good well, really, really good for you guys, but a bit bad for me because I, I could have a broken nose or something. But this you really got to respect. Uh, it's 1100 cc's. I mean, a lot of these, lot of these uh, with jet skiers are 750s or 850s or 1000s or something. But this has got so much kind. I don't know how people ride these things uh, in safety. Oh, and I, I've only got like a half throttle. All right. me up I mean you get you hammer them and you just lose control and I've just got to pull back on the throttle so I've only really got uh, one arm one hand on the controls I can't really grip that controls very very well holding the GoPro uh, 
maybe no nah, that's that's not gonna work so well we're just gonna make do with what we got and i don't really care because i'm having so much fun to recover from this is oh really bad going into the waves you, you nearly get airborne Certainly having too much fun here. <laughs> oh. All right, still eight minutes to go. So there's still enough time to do some damage. it's so hard to keep control of this machine and it doesn't help when you've only got one and a half hands on the on the wheel here or on the on the handlebars oh all right the heart rate monitor to see where, how it's been performing but still a few minutes left let's do it I haven't even uh, had time enough to look at the scenery uh, you know because it, it's out here in the middle of the bay it is just Look at this! Yeah! Love it! 
lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, it is time to go in and let's do it in style. Are we ready? All right, three, two, one, go. exhilarating 30 minutes of my life and I've got to thank these guys just so much I'm just going to kill kill it in a minute okay that was uh, Networks with an X Jet Sports and they just provided the most amazing experience I've had in my life on that bay there that beautiful bay there so uh yeah let us wrap it up because uh that's been a good day to end it with a bit of uh, high speed action so get out there and live your dreams please this place has got plenty of dreams to be fulfilled so get down here oh okay let's quickly get out the jet ski because i want to go over to the the star wars things over there yeah <laughs>